We start with news that Pyeongchang, the host city for the 2018 Winter Olympic Olympics, is going to be offered the opportunity to share some of the burden of holding this global sporting event with other cities outside of Korea. The final decision will rest with Pyeongchang's organizing committee. The International Olympic Committee's move is part of reforms aimed at cutting the costs for host cities. Song ji Son reports. It took Pyeongchang three attempts to win the rights to host the Winter Olympics. But when the flame is lit and the games get underway in February 2018, some of the events could be taking place elsewhere. The International Olympic Committee has offered a Pyeongchang organizing committee the chance to host some of the events in other countries. The decision will be Pyeongchang's to make, though. The IOC's coordination commissioner, Gunilla Linberry, told AP that Pyeongchang gets the final say on whether the games stay within the city or whether it takes the opportunity to host some events elsewhere. These proposals are part of the IOC President Thomas Bach's package of reforms dubbed Agenda 2020. The agenda is part of the IOC's bid to change the Olympic Games to better adapt in the changing world for financial and sustainability reasons. According to the IOC, hosting sledding events in pre-existing venues would save Pyeongchang 120 million U.S. dollars in construction costs and up to $5 million a year in maintenance. After voting on Agenda 2020 on Monday and Tuesday, the IOC will hand over a list of potential cities to the Pyeongchang Organizing Committee, which has until March to make its decision. The candidates include Nagano in Japan and Salt Lake City in the U.S., as well as 10 other sites in Europe, America and Asia. Pyeongchang organizers are said to be looking at all available options, but say long-term plans have been drawn up for the venues and construction has already begun. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.